Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to learn the third chapter from behind textbook in this textbook we have completed two chapters its explanation its word meaning and its solution you have written now we'll start the third chapter from this textbook the title of this chapter is the little girl written by Catherine Mansfield The Little Girl by Catherine Mansfield This is the chapter about the little girl The little girl will see her problem what she afraid of and what she want finally from her parents so expectation here about now the little girl also suffered from many fear about the father in this chapter we'll see first of all about the author Catherine Mansfield Catherine Mansfield Murray was born in 1888 and died on 1923 was a prominent new zealand modernist short story writer and the poet who was born and brought up in colonial new zealand we'll see about her background now catherine mansfield murray was born on 14th october 88 where in wellington new zealand she also died on 9th january 1923 at the age of 34 where in the france fountain blue street her pen name was catherine mansfield her nationality was new zealand her literary movement modernism george bound his her, her spouses and john middle murray her partner is ida constance baker before its explanation i would like to tell you one of the beautiful quote which related this story She did not stand alone but what stood behind her the most potent moral force in her life was the love of her father this title refers to this story now first of all we'll see the summary then after we'll discuss the about the characters first of all we'll say you the characters of this chapter in this chapter the characters are the little girl kezia her name is kezia her father her mother and her grandmother now what happened with her with her father who suggested her her grandmother and which what time he spent with her mother how she her mother had her in such problems so we'll see in the chapter so i will start the summary of this lesson the little girl by katherine mansfield kezia was a little girl who lived with her mother her father and her grandmother she was afraid of her father and always used to avoid him she used to feel relieved on seeing her father go to his work kezia was so afraid of her father she stuttered in front of him he appeared to her as harsh rude and critical her grandmother wanted her to understand her parents better and would ask her to go to the drawing room to chat with her parents but she found them different towards her one day her grandmother suggested that she should prepare a prepare pin cushion for her father's birthday kezia stitched the three side of the pin cushion kezia now she wanted to stuff it with something in her mother's room six number the bed table she found many sheets on of the paper she tore them off into small pieces and laid the pin cushion and stitched the fourth side by mistake she had used the very important papers which contained by her father's for the important speech of the port authority though 
she accepted her mistake and explained to him the reason behind it. Her father was too angry to listen to her. One evening, she said this all to her grandmother also. Her grandmother just gave her understandings to the particular situation and encouraged Kezia to talk to her parents, but she could not. One evening, she, the Kezia, saw Mr. McDonald playing with his five children, laughing and enjoying with them. This convinced the Kezia that all fathers are not like like her father. Some are loving and caring like Mr. MacDonald and some are cruel like her father. But soon her attitude towards her father also changed. One day her mother was hospitalized. She had to be taken to the hospital and her grandmother also went with her. She was left alone in the house with the cook. One day, the day was that only, but night was different. She woke up in the middle of the night, screaming, and as she had a horrible nightmare, she was weeping. She out of the fear. When she opened her eyes, she saw her father beside her bed. He carried her to his bedroom and made her warm and comfortable on his bed. Father told to rub her feet with his legs and set them warm. She felt very safe and comfortable with him. It was now she realized that her father was not all that of a giant that he loved and cared for her in his own way, that he had to work the whole day to provide for his family and was too tired by die evening to play with her. So at the end of this story, she realized that her father is really very loving and careful person. So in this story, the relationship between her father and her described and we can also identify from this particular story. Thank you and have a nice day.